Hi students, let us move to another topic from the chemical kinetics. The title of topic is Catalysis. I think in the lower classes you are introduced into this topic. What is catalysis? What is catalyst? Examples of catalyst, etc. etc. The great 19th century scientist Brazilius introduced this term. And he is considered as father of catalysis. He introduced some catalyst which helped to increase the speed of the reaction. You know what is catalyst? Catalyst is the chemical substance which increases the speed of the reaction and can be recovered as such at the end of the reaction. That is, you will get back the catalyst once reaction is over. Okay. Therefore, it is an additional substance which is added along with the reactants. The role of this substance is that increase the speed of the reaction. It never be the part of the products. Therefore, once the reaction is over, there will be catalyst. That catalyst can be used for another reaction, another same reaction. Okay. Therefore, catalysts are required only very less amount. Yes. Anyway, uh, there is a question. Why catalysts increase the rate of reaction? Why catalysts increase the rate of the reaction? It is because it gives an alternate path, an alternate path, an alternate path, it gives an alternate path by decreasing, by decreasing activation energy or free, free energy of activation. Activation. Catalysts increase the rate of reaction by providing, it increase the rate of reaction, providing an alternate path. That path has lower activation energy or lower free energy of activation. Okay. If you draw energy profile diagram, that is reaction energy, reactant and products. If you draw a graph like this, this is your reactant and this is a product. Okay. And this is the activation energy. Activation energy. Okay. But suppose you add a catalyst. If you add a catalyst to this react reaction, you know, this reaction takes place this route. Now this is the activation energy. Activation energy uh, for catalyst. A E dash. Suppose A E dash. Okay. The first rate constant of uncatalyzed reaction A into E raised to minus E by R T. This is uncatalyzed. Uncatalyzed. Catalyzed reaction K dash is equal to A into E raised minus E dash by RT. Okay. Now, K by K dash, that is E raised to minus E by RT into E raised to plus 
e dash by rt it was divided by rt when i bring back bring up a uh, numerator it became like that or k by k dash is equal to e raised to e minus e dash by e I'm really sorry minus e by e dash e is the activation of the without the catalyst that is plus uh, that, that is minus e dash is activation energy in the presence of catalyst all divided by rt okay therefore look at it here log ln k by k dash ln k by this is k dash imagine k dash is equal to e raised to minus delta e uh, sorry i am really sorry delta e minus delta e by rt minus delta e by rt or 2.303 log k by k dash k by k dash is equal to minus delta e by rt or log k by k dash is equal to minus 1.2.303 delta e by rt what is the delta e this is the delta e change in actuation energy when catalyst is added delta e nothing but a change in actuation energy when catalyst is added therefore this equation is very important uh, you can expect some questions in competitive examinations okay now characteristics of catalyst characteristics of catalyst we can discuss some characteristics characteristics of catalyst one is require small quantity small quantity cannot initiate the reaction cannot initiate the reaction it does not initiate the reaction third it is specific cannot al cannot alter nature of the products you will not get a different product when catalyst is added same product okay now cannot change enthalpy of reaction or free energy of reaction and equilibrium constant of the reaction it cannot change the enthalpy of the reaction or uh, free energy change of the reaction or equilibrium constant of the reaction. Okay. Now, uh, poisonous, poisonous uh, retard activity of catalyst. Poisonous retard activity of catalyst. It retard or it decrease the activity of catalyst okay finally finally the catalyst is remain unchanged and recovered remain unchanged and recovered recovered okay therefore uh, this is very important why catalyst does not uh, change the equilibrium constant because equilibrium constant is Kf by uh, Kb, ratio of weight constant of forward and backward. Suppose for uncatalyzed reaction it is 10, um, it, is, uh, it is 100, it is 10, for example. For catalyzed reaction, for catalyzed reaction, it decreases this value or it increases this value as well as it increases backward. It can increase forward as well as backward. Therefore, it becomes 200. 
and it becomes chunky. Okay, therefore, uh, equilibrium constant cannot be changed because catalyst increase both forward and backward reaction of a reversible reaction. Fine. Therefore, time attained in equilibrium will be shortened. The time attained for uh, time for attaining equilibrium is shortened. Uh, that's only. Similarly, delta H. Delta H of the reaction we have already discussed. Suppose this is reactant and this is a product. This is a delta H. Delta H. Catalyst does not change it. Catalyst only changes the activation energy. Okay, still delta H is same. Okay. Therefore, catalyst does not change the enthalpy of the reaction or equilibrium constant. Yes. Now we can go to next type of catalyst. <coughs> type of the catalyst. Okay. Types of catalyst. One is homogeneous, second is uh, heterogeneous, heterogeneous. Homogeneous means catalyst and uh, catalyst and reactant, reactants are in, are in same phase, same phase. Catalyst and reactants are in same phase. Example. Example, hydrolysis of uh, sugar, sugar by H plus or OH minus, acid or base catalyzed hydrolysis of sugar because the reaction in liquid phase, which phase? Liquid phase. Now, hydrolysis of ester, hydrolysis of ester, this is also liquid phase, enzyme reaction, enzyme reaction, Okay. Then gas phase reactions. Gas phase reaction. Suppose SO2 plus O2 in the presence of NO2. For a NO, NO gas. Okay. Heterogeneous catalyst and reactant and reactants are in different phase, different phase. Catalyst and reactants are in different phase. Solid phase reaction, solid phase reactions or a mixture of different phase. Suppose your gas solid, gas liquid, liquid solid, solid solid, all are heterogeneous. One example is hydrogenation, hydrogenation in the presence of nickel or uh, platinum or uh, palladium etc. Because hydrogenation, hydrogen is in gas phase, reactants are in gas phase. Suppose CH2 double bond CH2 plus H2 nickel. These are in gas phase but solid in, uh, sorry, catalyst in the solid phase. Uh, this is one of the important examples for heterogeneous catalysis. Okay. Uh, different phase. Suppose you have a liquid and a gas phase. Liquid and gas phase. Suppose such reactions are there. Uh, that reactions are also called the heterogeneous catalysis. Okay. This heterogeneous and homogeneous reaction will be learned in detail in post-graduation level. Okay. Now, theory of heterogeneous catalysis. Theory of heterogeneous theory of heterogeneous catalysis. Theory of heterogeneous catalysis. And uh, the chapter will be finished by discussing theory of heterogeneous and homogeneous catalysis. Uh, here I, 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 I would like to heterogeneous catalysis. Okay, we have a long mare in Schilfutter mecha uh, mechanism. Long mare, long mare 
Hinschel would, uh, Hinschel would mechanism. This is based on adsorption. A tragedy is based on based on adsorption of reactant reactants on solid surface. Solid surface. I said in a heterogeneous catalysis there will be a solid phase. Probably catalyst will be in the solid phase. Don't shake it. You get out of here. I'm shaking. Based on adsorption of reactants on solid surface. Okay? Uh, the solid surface is the catalyst. Reactants. Are you shaking or are you touching? Are you touching? Are you shaking? Solid surface reactants are catalyzed. Reactants are adsorbed on the solid surface. That is the principle. Okay, it has following steps. Steps. One is diffusion of diffusion of reactants. Second, adsorption of adsorption of reactants. On, on catalyst surface on catalyst surface third reaction between absorbed reactant absorbed reactant fourth product formation fifth diffusion of products diffusion of Product. This is the mechanism they proposed. Because reactants, all the reactants are absorbed on the surface of the catalyst. This absorption is chemisorption. Because of this absorption, the reactants become close enough. Moreover, that their bonds become weak. Therefore, they can interact with each other. And products can be formed. Once product is formed, they cannot be they cannot be on the surface of the catalyst. They will be dissolved. I will tell you one example. One simple uh, logic. Suppose in your panchayat, there are a lot of young boys and young girls. They wanted to marry. You know what is it? Uh, what is the steps taken for an arranged marriage it is quite difficult boy has to come uh, the bride uh, the girl's house they have to meet uh, they have to talk and there is no chance obviously maybe either boy or girl will be dissatisfied and that the uh, tender process will be rejected therefore your panchayat president decided one idea he got an idea he should have noticed that every young boys and girls they wanted to marry should assemble in the community hall on next Sunday. Imagine you got the notice. Everybody got the notice. And you dress up. Uh, you step, uh, step out of your house. Every young boys and girls diffused, diffusing uh, that Sunday towards the community hall. That is diffusion of the reactants, boy and girls. Okay. Now at 10 30, community hall opened. Okay. Everybody absorbed inside the hall. Suppose uh, you are sitting in a chair. Nearby, a boy is sitting. You are started to talking. You introduce yourself. Okay. Once you you like each other, you started to you decided to marry. That is called a reaction. Once you decided to marry, there is a very strict rule in the uh, notice. If you decided to marry, don't uh, sit in the hall. Immediately you leave the hall. The pair should leave. Otherwise, you know, uh, there is a danger. Because another boy from that side of me may see you. He also likes him to communicate to you. And if you go to communicate to you, you will feel that it, that boy is better than your boy already met. Therefore, to avoid that confusion, once you decide to leave that, that is called the diffusion of the products. 
Once that Sunday, uh, this process is over, the community hall, your catalyst, your surface is free. Therefore, that community hall can repeat next Sunday also. Okay? Therefore, that is happening here. Diffusion of reactants, adsorption of the reactant. What is adsorption of the reactant? You are absorbing, you are going to the community hall and reaction between, you are talking with each other and your product formation, you are desiring to marry and diffusion of the products. Okay, now we can discuss something detail about this mechanism. Consider a unimolecular, consider a unimolecular heterogeneous catalysis reaction, heterogeneous catalysis reaction, catalysis reaction, unimolecular. Okay, A plus S, this is a mechanism, A is P, K1, K minus 1, K2, yes, A plus S, K, uh, A is, A is gives P, what is A, A is called the Concentration of reactants. S. Concentration of free surface site. Surface site where air are supposed to be absorbed. A is reactant surface surface complex. That is there are absorbed. Suppose A plus you have a surface to the surface A is absorbed. There are two chances the absorbed species may be reverted back or it can be converted into products. From kinetics kinetics rate, rate of reaction directly proportional to concentration of free surface free surface concentration of free surface because only adsorbed species are giving the uh, products therefore how much concentration free surface areas are there that much reaction is produced that concentration surface directly proportional to S therefore R is equal to K2 into theta theta I will explain what is theta theta is called the fraction of uh, surface, free surface, where theta is students so uh, in the kinetics, theta is equal to fraction of surface, uh, surface covered, fraction of surface covered. Therefore, As is equal to Cs theta, S is equal to Cs 1 minus theta, rate is equal to K into theta, fraction of surface covered. Now, according to the study, uh, this is our mechanism A plus S K1 uh, K minus 1 AS AS K2 P. According to the steady state mechanism AS uh, K1 A S minus K minus 1 AS plus minus K2 AS is equal to zero. Therefore, A S is equal to A S is equal to K one A S divided by K minus one plus K two. What is A S? C S theta is equal to K one A into C S one minus theta all divided by K one K minus one plus K two. Okay. Yes. Therefore, this CS and CS cancel. Theta divided by 1 minus theta is equal to K1A divided by K minus 1 plus K2. 
or uh, inverse 1 minus theta by theta is equal to k minus 1 plus k2 divided by k1a or 1 minus theta minus 1 is equal to uh, k minus 1 plus k2 divided by k1a or 1 by theta is equal to k minus 1 plus k2 divided by k1a plus 1 plus 1 Okay. Or one uh, or one by theta is equal to k minus one plus k two plus k one a all divided by k one a. Or theta is equal to just revert k one a all divided by k minus one plus K2 plus K1A. This is theta. Okay. Therefore, our rate is equal to K2, uh, the rate directly proportional to theta, or rate uh, directly proportional to K2 into uh, theta. That is, rate is equal to uh, rate is equal to K1 K2 into this. This is the rate equation. Okay, here uh, different cases are possible. This is our rate equation. Different uh, cases are possible. Okay, case one. Case one. Suppose k two greater than k minus one plus k one a. What is the k minus 1 and k1a? Uh, that is, this is our reaction. This is k1, k minus 1, as, as gives k2. Suppose, uh, k2 is very much greater. That is, all as are converted into products. Therefore, this term, uh, k minus 1 and k1a. K1 and K, K minus 1 will be very small. Okay. Therefore, you can neglect uh, this term. This term. Therefore, R is equal to K2, K1A divided by K2. That is, R is equal to K1A uh, first order. First order. Therefore, this is a first order reaction when K2 is higher. Now, now, case 2. Case 2, that is, case 2, k2 less than k1 plus k minus 1 plus k1 into a. In that case, r is equal to k1 k2 a divided by k2, uh, sorry, k minus 1 plus uh, k1 a. K1A. Okay. Now, in this case, very, very, very important uh, application. In this equation, I just modify. I divide all this with K minus 1. Divide K minus 1. Therefore, K1, K2A divided by K minus 1. All divided by k minus 1 divided by k minus 1 plus k1 k minus 1 a. You know what happened here? This is our reaction a plus s k1 k minus 1 a s. This is an equilibrium. Equilibrium constant is this is forward, this is backward. k forward, k1 minus k1. This is equilibrium constant. Therefore, this become equilibrium one. Therefore, you will get K2 equilibrium constant A all divided by this is 1, 1 plus 1 plus equilibrium constant uh, K, equilibrium constant K. You will get a rate. At a very low K2 value, you will get an equation like this. This equation is very important. That 
कैलकुलेटर के इसे क्लिप एंड पंच ओके नाउ एट वेरी हाई कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ ए नंबर के ए विल बी ग्रेटर देन 1 एट वेरी हाई कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ ए के ए इज वेरी हाई दफ R is equal to K2 into K A divided by K A zero zero order zero order at a very low concentration at a very low concentration of A R is equal to that is K A this K A less than one therefore R is equal to first order. First order. Students, very very important. There is always question like this, particularly in the exam examination. In heterogeneous catalysis of a unimolecular reaction, a unimolecular heterogeneous catalysis of a reaction, reaction, the the order will be zero when the concentration of reactant or pressure of the reactant is very high. The order will be first order. when the concentration or pressure of the reactant is very low i have seen such question in many committed exam or in exam questions question was like that in the decomposition of phosphine on tungsten phosphine on tungsten therefore it is heterogeneous catalysis only phosphine therefore unimolecular heterogeneous catalysis reaction therefore that is a meaning in the decomposition of phosphine on tungsten the order of the reaction at high pressure of phosphine is high pressure means high concentration option e zero order first order second order fractional order what is answer zero order because high at high concentration or high pressure it will be zero order this is a mechanism if there is a question prove that you have to write this equation this equation Then at the high concentration, uh, when the pressure you write the pressure T A, uh, this at T A, at the high pressure this term is greater than this. Therefore P A and P A cancelled. It's a zero order. Okay. At low pressure, what shall be the order? First order. Fine. At intermediate pressure, there is a fractional order. Okay. Thank you for watching.